Hello everyone, this is Sir Marvin Partido. So today here in the Technical Engineering 1, we're going to discuss the liquidity and consistency index. So we're going to uh, solve sample problems here regarding liquidity index and consistency index. Okay, let's now talk about the liquidity index and consistency index of cohesive soils. So the relative consistency or firmness of a cohesive soil in the natural state can be defined by a ratio called the liquidity index. So liquidity index class can be computed using this formula. So Li, this is our notation for liquidity index. So this is equal to W minus PL over LL minus PL. Wherein yung W dito class, this is in situ moisture content of soil. Yung PL ay plastic limit. Yung LL ay liquid limit. Okay, so in this case, class, no, to interpret the values for liquidity index, so pwede natin gamitin itong figure na to. Okay, so class, kapag yung value ng liquidity index natin ay greater than 1, so ano ba yung case or mga cases na pwedeng maging greater than 1 yung liquidity index? So base sa formula natin, class, class, kapag yung um, water content natin, itong in situ moisture content natin, Class, kapag mas malaki ito kesa sa LL, tama, kapag greater than siya, class, sa liquid limit, yun yung case na pwedeng maging uh, greater than 1, yung liquidity index. Tama? So, class, um, kapag class greater than 1 yung liquidity index natin, so, class, yung soil natin, class, it, it is in its um, liquid state. No? Kapag yung liquidity index natin ay greater than 1. Okay, so the soil is in liquid state. So, these soils, when remolded, can be transformed into a viscous form to flow like a liquid. Okay, so class, yun namang liquidity index natin, nagiging 1 yan. Okay, so take note class dito sa figure natin, ito, value ito class ng moisture content, ng in situ moisture content. So class, magiging 1 yung liquidity index natin kapag yung water content natin or yung in situ moisture content natin equal dun sa liquid limit. Tama, tingnan mo, kapag equal class yung W na to, tsaka yung liquid limit, so magiging 1 talaga class yung liquidity index. So again class, uh, yung Li natin, yan ay nasa pagitan ng ano kumbaga, ng liquid state at saka ng plastic state ng ano natin, ng soil natin. Okay, ngayon class, kapag yung value ng liquidity index natin, nasa pagitan siya ng 1 at saka 0, Okay, so yung, yung soil natin is in its plastic state. Okay, so kapag dumating na siya class dito, na yung liquidity index niya equal sa zero. So class dito, um, naging zero class yung liquidity index dito kasi uh, at this point class, yung in situ water content equal sa PL. At take note class, kapag naging equal yung in situ water content na to, tsaka PL, so magiging zero class yung liquidity index, di ba? Magiging zero na itong numerator. Therefore, yung LI, magiging zero na siya. Tama. So, class, um, kapag naman class yung liquidity index natin ay mas mababa sa zero or less than sa zero, so ibig sabihin negative na yung ano natin, no? Yung liquidity index dito. So, class, para sa mga cases na uh, magiging negative yung liquidity index, it will only happen kapag yung um, kapag class yung uh, water content natin less than dun sa plastic limit. Tama? Kapag mas malaki class yung plastic limit natin kesa sa in situ water content natin, ang mangyayari, magne-negative class. Diba? Magne-negative yung liquidity index natin. So, yan class, it happens for soil deposits that are heavily over-consolidated. No? So, they will have a natural moisture content less than the plastic limit. So, class, yung mga heavily over-consolidated uh, soil or clay, class, yan yung mga soil na um, merong, ano, merong dating kinakarga na mabigat na load. So, stress kung baga yung, yung soil natin. No, and then ang ginawa dyan, class, tinanggal class yung yung uh, uh, yung nagkokos nung stress or nung, nung load doon sa sa may uh, soil na yun. So tinang, tinanggal yun. So yung nangyayari class, nagiging over consolidated yung soil kasi less than ngayon yung um, kinikerry niya na stress kesa dun sa previously na kinikerry niya na stress. So ganun class yung mga over consolidated clay. So, kapag class yung liquidity index natin is less than nasa zero, so nasa solid, ano na siya, nasa solid phase. 
no yung ano natin yung soil natin okay okay so another index that is commonly used for engineering purposes is the consistency index so it may be defined as ci is equal to ll minus w over ll minus pi so yung ci ay yung notation natin para sa consistency index ll liquid limit w in c2 moisture content pi plus tcp index. Okay, so class, kapag yung W natin, or itong in situ moisture content natin, equal siya sa liquid limit. So, yung consistency index, nagiging zero. And kapag yung W naman, class, ito, equal siya dito sa PI. So, yung consistency index natin, magiging one. Okay. Okay, so let's now solve sample problem number one. A soil has a liquid limit of 61 and a plastic limit of 30. A moisture content test performed on an undisturbed sample of this soil yielded the following results. So the mass of soil plus can before placing in oven equal yan sa 96.2 grams. So ito class yung mass ng wet soil plus can. And then ito naman, mass of soil plus can after removal for, from oven, 71.9 grams yan. So ito naman yung mass ng dry soil plus can. And then yung mass ng can class ay 20.8 20 grams. So, from here, we're going to compute the plasticity index, the moisture content, and the liquidity index. Okay. So, given class yung liquid limit na 61% and yung plastic limit na 30%. So, for plasticity index, we can use yung formula natin dito na PI is equal to LL minus PL. No? So, we already have LL and PL. Substitute lang natin mga values natin. So, yung PI natin, therefore, I 31%. So, yan yung plasticity index. Now, for the moisture content, so, class, itong test na kinundak na to ay moisture content test. No? So, pwede natin malaman yung moisture content from this data. So, class, yung formula natin, di ba, mass nung uh, wet soil minus mass nung dry soil over mass nung dry soil. And take note na yung mass nung wet soil minus mass nung dry soil, yan ay ano lang, uh, mass nung water. Tama? So, pwede natin directly um, isubstitute itong mass nung soil plus can, tapos subtract natin yung mass of soil nung dry soil plus can, no? Para makuha natin yung mass ng water. No? So, uh, substitute lang natin. So, 96.2 minus 71.9 class. Yan na mismo yung mass ng water. Tapos, yung mass nung soil solid class or mass nung dry soil. Okay? So, it will just be the mass nung dry soil plus can. Tapos, subtract natin yung mass ng can. So, yan ay 71.9 minus 20.8. So, solving this class, yung water content natin ay 0 0.476 or if in percent, this is 47.6%. So, this is the, the answer already for the moisture content. Now, um, for the uh, letter C, that is the liquidity index. So, we already know the formula for liquidity index. So, that is liu pala, lala pala. Uh, so, L i is equal to W minus PL over LL minus PL. No, so, I memorized this as liu pala, lala pala. No, para madali ko siyang na-memorize. Okay, so, meron tayong water content. Ito yon Yung PL natin, given. Yung LL natin, um, given din. Tapos yung PL, uh, yun ulit yon Okay, so, substitute lang natin mga values natin. So, yung water content natin, class, ay 47.6. PL natin, 30. LL natin, 61. And then, yung um, PL natin, 30 ulit. So, solving for the liquidity index, class, so, the value is 0 0.568. No, so, from this um, value class ng liquidity index, pe, nasa pagitan siya ng, ano, no, ng 1 at saka ng 0. So, pwede nating sabihin class na yung soil natin dito, uh, it is in its plastic state, ba? Since nasa pagitan yung liquidity index ng 0 at saka 1. No? Okay, so these are the answers already class for this problem. Okay, for sample problem number 2, the following are results from the liquid and plastic limit test for a soil. Natural water content is 24%. So, ito class yung data para dun sa liquid limit. So, we already know that this is the data obtained from the liquid limit test kasi number of blows to eh, no? Ayan, tas yung corresponding moisture content niya ay ito. So, yung plastic limit class, no, ito na yung value niya, 18.7%. So, from this data class, we are going to compute the liquid limit, the plasticity index, the liquidity index, and the consistency index. So, we're going to solve first the liquid limit. So, class, uh, dalawang solution yung pwede natin gamitin dito. Okay, so we can um, 
use yung flow curve natin. So, kailangan muna nating i-graph yung mga data natin from the liquid limit test. So, i-graph natin plasyad or i-plot natin yan dito sa graph natin. Okay, so tatlong, ano yan, tatlong data yan for uh, number of blows. Tapos yung corresponding moisture content niya. So, tatlong points yan plus dito sa uh, graph natin. Okay. So, class yung 15 na number of blows as 42 na moisture content, uh, banda dito yan. Then, yung 20, 40.8, nandito banda. Tapos yung 28, tapos 39.1 class, nandito yung banda. So, from these three points class, we are going to approximate a straight line. So, yung straight line na yan, yung, yan yung magiging flow curve natin. At yan yung uh, gagamitin natin class para ma-determine yung liquid limit natin. So, what we're going to do, kailangan natin is 25 blows. So, i-project natin yung 25 blows papunta dun sa flow curve natin. And then, project natin yan horizontally papunta dun sa moisture content. So, class, yung makukuha natin dito na reading for the moisture content, yan class yung magiging liquid limit. Tama? Yung value na makukuha natin dyan ay yung value ng liquid limit natin. So, class, yung value nung liquid limit natin, as we can see here, hindi siya aabot ng 40. Tama? Base dito, class, sa my uh, flow curve natin. And anyway, so, class, yung solution 2 naman natin, so, gagamitan natin ito ng interpolation. So, we are going to assume na um, yung uh, curve class na nagko-connect dito sa dalawang point na to, i-assume natin na at 25 blows, no, mag uh, i-intersect yung, yung curve that connects these two points at saka itong ano itong straight line na to no so magmi-meet sila or magi-intersect sila dito sa uh, 25 blows so we just assume that no so hindi siya magiging exact yung sagot no na uh, na hinahanap talaga natin dito na liquid limit but then magiging ano siya approximately malapit doon sa value na yun. so for for us to have a uniform answer nga dito class no so ito yung gagamitin natin itong solution 2 no, para hindi tayo magkakaiba ng sagot. No, kapag kasi yung solution 1 yung ginamit natin class, no, iba-iba yung magiging approximation natin dyan. No, so, let's just say that we use solution 2 for uniformity. No? So, yung kailangan natin dito class ay liquid limit or yung moisture content. Okay, yung moisture content at 25 blows. So, yun yung magiging liquid limit. So, yung kailangan natin na data ay ito. No, ito na, nire-write na natin dito. 20, 28, 40.8, saka 39.1. So, gagamitan natin ito ng um, calculator technique class. So, 25 blows yung kailangan natin para malaman ito. So, ito yung liquid limit natin. So, input natin sa class dun sa calculator natin. So, ito ay mode 3, um, 3, 4, no? Mode 3, 4. So, yung input natin sa X is yung number of blows. No, yan ay 20, tapos 28. Tapos, sa my y-axis natin, yung moisture content, which is 40.8, tapos 39.1. Yan, tapos press AC, tapos shift 1, tapos 5. Tapos, yung kailangan natin, class I, eto no, ano ba to? Nasa Y to, no? So, sa Y yan. So, in, ang mangyari, class, ma, uh, ang kailangan nating symbol dito is yung Y, tapos may ganun sa taas. Hat by tawag doon. And, so, class, uh, input mo before that symbol, yung kailangan natin na number of blows, which is 25. So, press equal. So, class, yung lalabas dito ay 39.67. So, yan yung magiging liquid limit natin, class. Okay, and as you can see, uh, yan ay tumutugma, class, dun sa may, ano natin, dun sa may solution 1. Kasi dito hindi talaga siya lalagpas ng 40. So, this is just 39.67%. So, this is already the answer for letter A. Now, for the plasticity index, so we already know the formula for plasticity index. This is just PI is equal to LL minus PL. So, meron na tayo class LL, nakuha na natin. Tapos, yung PL natin given, 18.7. So, substitute lang natin yung values natin. So, this will just be PI is equal to 39.67 minus 18.7. So, yung makukuha natin value dito ay 20.97%. So, this is already the plasticity index. Now, for the liquidity index, so yung formula natin dyan class ay liu pala, lala pala. So, Li is equal to W minus PL over LL minus PL. So, meron tayo class uh, natural water content na given or in C2 moisture content. PL, uh, meron din tayo. LL nakuha na natin. So, substitute lang natin mga values. So, in, yung in C2 moisture content natin ay 24. PL natin 18.7, tama. 
And then yung LL natin, 39.67. And then PL, 18.71. So solving for LI, so this is 0 0.253. So this is now the liquidity index. Now for the consistency index, so this is Silwa Lalapi. So gano'n ko siya minemorize. Silwa Lalapi. No? So ito class ICI is equal to LL minus W over LL minus PI. So yung LL natin class, meron tayo niyan, W meron. PI na solve na, na din natin. So, substitute lang natin mga values natin. So, this is CI is equal to 39.67 minus 24 over 39.67 minus 20.97. So, solving for CI, this is 0 0.838. So, this is already the consistency index. So, that ends our discussion for this topic. I hope that you learned class. So, see you again sa next discussion natin. Aral tayong mabuti class. Kaya mo yan. God bless. Bye-bye.